Hey, what's up, guys? Victorian Temple, uh, giving you the lowdown with the green guns and everything like that. Though today I am just sitting here playing a little one v one over here with a little female tryhard over here at UK. Anyway, um, I just want to say, you know, for those of you guys who are actually pros, congratulations though for being good at Halo. Though, but those are for only those people who are actually very good at Halo. I just want to take a quick note to say that when you one v one somebody. Be a good person though. Don't don't be a try hard like most people are though. If you need if you're one of those guys who need clutches like camo, freaking snipe shots, and all stuff like that, then you're not good as you think you are, okay? Just gonna put that out there right now though. Um you know, I know that sometimes, you know, internet connections between countries just go around and then just, you know, relay or uplay like, you know, the play speed. But you know, that's beside the point of, you know, people and their strategies and what they're using. Alright. So, basically, you know, if you're going to 1v1 C-Body, you know, do it fair, just with DMRs. Don't use snipers, jetpacks, camo, snipe shotting. You know, I mean, if someone is a host of that map, just let them know, hey, switch it though. But the problem is here that I, I'm facing somebody who needs to use these pussy tactics or these noobish tactics just to win. You know, whether it's spawn trapping, snipe spawn trapping, freaking active camouflaging, or just someone being all steady and calm and stuff like that, because their internet connection is better. That's why they want to be the host. But beside that, a true a true one v one is just DMRs. All right, you don't do a map, and I know a lot of people are used to playing Sanctuary and stuff like that. And you know, that's I know it's a tradition to one v one on a Sanctuary, but look, just because it's Frickin' tradition doesn't mean it has to be that map. Traditions get broken all the time. Like four years ago, the Olympics just had a tradition broken too. But you know, people like me, I'm a guy you can do pretty much anything and everything with this with Halo Reach though. If you put me in a certain game type, I can be good at that though. I just don't stick with one game type. People like the people who I'm facing right now, the only reason why they're winning is because they know this map. They study it, they bookworm it, they do everything they can because they know that knowledge, like, criteria to just having, you know, you know, certain skill within that. But my thing is, you're fighting with a clutch, pretty much, if you have to, you know, be in a map or play in a map that you know the best, and I don't. Because me, I don't study the map like that. These guys, these guys read the book on it, forge everything, freaking... Like, literally, they know everything about it, though. So that's fighting with a clutch. And honestly, that's not really fair if you're going to face somebody like that. And I'm happy to know that. That's why every time I 1v1 somebody, it changes. And people like the people I'm facing right now, they have the audacity to say that, oh, you're bad, you got this kill. So no. The reason is because you need to have active camouflage or just do whatever pussy type, like armor lock or whatever you can to win. Me, I'm just going to DMR you. Honestly, I don't need to. That's the only, and that's pretty much the only best kill I just got on her. Otherwise, um, really, people these days in their one v ones it just disappoints me. The fact that these guys think they have skill until someone actually gets aggressive on their ass is different. But you know, if you're gonna one v one someone, just please, please be modest about it. Try to like give her variety, okay? If you're not used to variety then you're not really that much of a good 1v1-er. But other than that, you know... 30 seconds remaining. It's, you know, if you're, if you're one of those people that like to tuck their tail in after they get one win on a, on a 1v1 and is that scared to do it, and is that scared to let somebody promote someone else and just host and like give a variety of something like that, like a 1v1 but in a different way, then you're not good at all, period. You just just stop talking you you don't have that skill that you think you have okay that's just basically what needs to be said like me i'm not scared of a 1v1 if you message me and you want 1v1 me sure i'm up for the challenge i'm a challengeful person i'm up for it all right i'm not going to shy away and just cower some people do that i don't but yeah people like this they just took their tail and then just run away so i'm not even going to bother with it though but she wants to be that way, she can. Me, I'm not a scared cow. Where do you want to 1v1 me? Just go ahead. But yeah, she has a lot to learn before she becomes good. But me and my clan that used to be back in the day, we, we did raids and stuff like that over the past months and years. We all became good because of one thing, and that's variety. 
we knew how to deal with different situations and adapt to, you know, and evolute to def- different situations. People like her can't. That's why she's not as good as she thought. But anyway, um, that's the video for today. Thank you guys, and please subscribe for more.